Hi boys, welcome to this episode of Jaden Nonsers. It's me. Uh, it's been a while since I have made one of these, but um, I want to do it again because I haven't made videos in a while and I figured this would be a good way to get back into it. Um, yeah, and ever since I stopped making videos, um, Jaden Answers has switched up a little bit, you know, it's still Jaden Answers, but we're not answering all of Yahoo Answers anymore. Now we're answering r slash ask reddit. Um, yeah, let's go. Do your attitudes about a person change when you learn they're not particularly fans of dogs or other pets? If yes, how so? Um, I'd say that it changes in the way that it's like, hmm, you don't have, um, you don't have a special type of responsibility that not everyone has like it's kind of like I'm not gonna say it's like having children because that's a completely different ballpark I can only imagine but um yeah it's kind of like you lose a point of relatability I suppose or it feels like you lose a point of relatability for me uh, in a way because it's it's like they don't they don't quite get the the companionship in a way where it's like it's kind of like a, I feed you, you sleep in my bed, you shit in my house, you know, that type thing. Uh, it's it's lovely. It's really lovely um, to have it. It's great um, to have that type of relationship uh, with a dog. Um, so, yeah, I mean, my, my only attitude towards them is that they don't relate to me on the same level. So, yeah. How did you handle the realization that you no longer enjoyed the company of your existing friends? Have you ever gone through the experience of noticing that spending time with a person you consider a close friend actually makes you feel bad? And you find yourself wishing you didn't spend time with them or wanting to end plans early or only seeing them because you feel obligated to, etc. Has this ever happened with a long-term friendship? What did you do? Um, it actually did. It was a very um, <laughs> interesting one. There was this one friend of mine who, if you know me personally, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. And if he sees this, hey, man, <laughs> hi. Um, but it's like, I spent literally all of my time with this one friend, and he was like my best friend during primary school. Um, and towards the end of the year, I just kind of lost interest in being friends with him, or... <laughs> towards the beginning of the next year, I just kind of lost interest in being friends with him, and it was difficult, because he still, or I felt like he still wanted to be a part of my life, and I didn't know how to tell that friend of mine that, hey, I, um, I'm moving on with new things, I'm going to a different school, I'm gonna meet new people, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do different things, I'm gonna do new things, instead of just staying, um, your friend, or you being my only friend forever, which um, is healthy. It's healthy to have more than one friend. It's healthy to have more than one um, thing that occupies your life and occupies your brain. Um, in fact, I think it's like unhealthy to be focused on one thing specifically all the time, as it's just, you know, it's not good for you. It's not good to hyper-focused like that when it's something um, that, you know, it's it's kind of like a make or break with that one thing, and I definitely think that you should just have other options with your life to occupy yourself with. Um, you know, but the way that you could deal with it is um, finding new hobbies, finding new things to talk to new people about, finding new friends finding, you know, just entertaining yourself in any way possible, but, I mean, if your situation is completely different and you already have new friends and you just wanted to know how to end it off, um, a good way would just be sitting down with that person and being like, hey, um, I think that we were good friends for a while, um, but I think that I'm changing a lot as a person now. And I need room to do that, and that may be a difficult conversation to have. Um, I know, personally, that's a difficult situation to have with any type of relationship that you have. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult one 
to to deal with. Um, and I'm still learning how to do that, how to push people out of my life that I don't need or want in my life. And it's it's a long journey, but you know, if if I can at some point do it, then I imagine you at some point can as well. So good luck, good friend. Whoo! Here's one I relate really heavily with. Um, how do you stop feeling boring? Well, um, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm still figuring that one out myself, champ. Um, but here's what I've come up with. You need to find new things in your life that interest you. Um, find new hobbies. Find new friends. You know, talk to new people. Talk to different people. Uh, it's like I just said before with what to do when you um when you stop being friends with a person it's you know you just need to focus on yourself focus on the things that make you happy and focus on interesting stuff like people will want to talk to you if you sound like you know what you're talking about with a lot of different things like with generally interesting things like like, say you're really into playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you play it all day long, every single day, right? Or Warzone, right? So, you play Warzone every single day, all day long, right? And now, you're just wondering, hmm, how can I make friends out of that? Well, there's Discord communities that you could find people talking about Warzone on, you could make friends within Warzone, you could talk about your strategies that you have for winning games. You could talk about your different techniques that you use to play the game and have fun with it. You could talk about your favorite weapons that are in the game, your favorite new updated stuff that's in the game. Like, it's... The possibilities are endless with different topics. So, I just really recommend finding stuff that you think people would find interesting to talk to you about within this one realm of conversation, you know? Because, like I said, if you sound like you know what you're talking about and it's a general enough topic that's interesting, then people are going to want to listen to you and they're going to want to talk to you. And that will, in turn, make you interesting. Um, no matter how boring you may think you are. Um, so, yeah, good luck with, with that uh, mission. I'm still figuring that one out myself, but... Um, it's going pretty well so far. Going pretty well. Alrighty, boys. Well, that's all I really have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did watch it, um, hopefully this video doesn't, like, bomb big time. Uh, I mean, if it does, then that's just kind of what happens. But um, if it isn't and I get lucky, then great. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did watch until here. And let me know if you take any of my advice. It's, you know... It's real general stuff that people are wondering about, and let me, you know, if you feel like commenting and saying something about the video, whether you enjoyed it or not, um, I don't really mind. I like engagement whatsoever, so please let me know what you thought, and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you want, don't subscribe if you don't want to, you know, do your own thing, live your own life, do what's best for you, my gamer. <laughs> um, but take care, everyone, uh, and have a have a good um, morning, uh, day. Have a good night, uh, night night. If you're going to sleep, um, and um, if you have an Alexa in your house, um, Alexa, buy fifty bags of gummy bears from Amazon. Take care, everyone. Bye.